everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny again, and right now I'm going to review WP Fluent Forms. So, if you don't already know, this is my, I'm not even going to say new favorite form plugin, it's actually been my favorite WordPress form plugin for the past two years. So, my previous favorite was Caldera, now it's WP Fluent Forms. Why? Alright. So, I'll just say it as quick as I can. Most people out there are just looking for a free form plugin and usually they'll use something like Caldera or, or Contact Form 7, CF7, or they might do something like a free version of WP Fluent Forms. I've done that. Or you might use free versions of the other big dog plugins, right? Like Gravity, Ninja, Formidable, WP Forms. So some of these pro ones, they have like a free version available. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about these pro versions anyway. Gravity Forms is probably like the oldest, most prestigious uh, pro, pro Forms plugin. So what can these pro form plugins do like Gravity or Ninja Forms, Formidable Pro, uh, Caldera Forms Pro, WP Forms, the paid version. So they can do more advanced things. For example, like they can take payments, they can do surveys, they can do multi-step forms like where instead of filling out everything all at once, you get to click next and then, you know, so it feels more manageable. Uh, it can handle registrations, other things they can do, like, for example, they can integrate with different your email marketing services, right? Or, for example, they can send your form submissions to Slack or they can allow like file and image or uploads, basically user uploads. I'll show you. I'll just give you a quick little look of what's out there, right? Because I've seen it all. I, I haven't used all these plugins so intensely myself, but I've had to mess with it on a client website. Oh yeah, conditional logic, where based on what they what the user chooses, it'll show something different. Of course, layouts and styles and different things. There you go, P, you know, form submissions, Zapier integration, Zapier, Zapier, how do I say that? features so all of them you know all these pro form plugins have more or less the same stuff right so why is it that WP fluent forms is my favorite one so I'm gonna tell you I'll go right off the bat and just I gotta remember I wrote all this down so I have to remember real quick okay got it got it got it got it. easy creative form tons of form examples uh, very easy to customize a style spam protection you'd be surprised how many don't have that and then the visual reports were really awesome so let's go to the back end and let's just start messing with it right away really easy so when I go and create a form I can do it from a blank form or I can look at all the pre-made ones and guys this is really awesome I, I, I don't think any other form plugin has all these look product these are for product order basic forms Check this out, order bump, that's really cool. Online donation, here's the educational ones. See, different surveys, student, proposal, admissions, transcript, blah, blah, blah. Here's a marketing one. Look at it, feedback, different feedback or survey, survey forms, registration forms, database management, nonprofit, donation, donation, volunteer sign up. that's awesome. Very clever that they thought of all these. IT forms. These are all the different services, right? For, for your people, your clients to sign up or report bugs, finance, all the, look at the applications, human resources, social, this is cool. Marriage, party invitation forms, uh, government. So as you can see, there are tons of like really, really awesome ones. Now I'm just gonna go standard. Look at this newsletter. You can, you can create newsletter forms. So it'll automatically sign up subscribers to like your mailing list. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick the basic content contact form here. And then this is really, really easy to work with. I can click on any of these and then just edit it, you know, change 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 things. Oh, I don't want a last name. I can change that, right? Or let's say I want to put this in columns. Very, very easy to do. So let's just get a container here and let's just put this in uh, how about three column? I love the three column container. I'll take this, I'll drag it into there, I'll take this one. I drag it into there, and then I take this one and I drag it into there, right? 
and then I hit save form. Um, and then over here, I can kind of decide like what message to show after they, you know, or do I, do I want to redirect them somewhere after they finish? Okay, do I want to send an admin notification? Yes, I do. I do love to send admin notifications. And over here, I like to change the from name to use the name uh, whoever emailed me. And from email, I like to use the email of whoever emailed me. That way, when I get the form, I can just click reply and it goes straight to them. Over here, I can change, you know, I, I can just manipulate it however I want. I think you guys understand. I don't have to explain that. Custom CSS, this is really awesome. So if I wanna style it, really easy to do. And then if I wanna preview how it looks on the front end, uh, this is just like a back end preview. And here there's more container styling I can choose. But to, to really preview it, I have to create a, let's say, let's pretend that I created a page even though I'm not doing that right now. I, I do a, oh, Fluent, that's what it's called. And I put that in, right? Well, let's put the one that I already have. How about that? Okay, so actually, you know, let's, let's, let's put the one that, that we made together. All right, I'm gonna preview this and what do we get? But I am, this is pretty awesome. Look at this. And then if I do this, it's already, see, it's already mobile responsive. So, really cool, really easy. Now, let me show you what else. Formidable already comes with, and again, we're just on basic, basic uh, settings and basic features. So there are already, uh, la, 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 where's it? There's already Honeypot security built in, okay? If you want more, uh, if you want more spam blocking options, you can even go to the form settings over here. And I believe, oh, I think it was up here. It was up here. Down in the validation, there you go. And I've, I, I don't even use this so much, okay? I just remember where things are, because it's that easy. You can, you can use the advanced form validation where if it sees certain things, it'll automatically block it. So really incredible. Uh, you know, I, there's so many times when I just need a simple contact form and even like Caldera, my favorite, gets tons of spam submissions. So Fluent Form has saved my, it saved my behind on this and I appreciate them so much for that. Uh, their free version is incredibly, it's incredibly useful. Okay, so I've already shown you uh, how easy it is. It looks great on the front end and then if you wanna style it with CSS, easy to do. But I love that the, I, I like a raw form design because it doesn't like, it doesn't clutter up and, and clash with your theme, right? It just kind of takes your, your theme styling. I want to show you the one that I have. This is what I've been using on my site. And, and see here, I matched a yellow to my theme. Uh, okay, so now the, the other, uh, another basic feature was the visual report. So I love this. I love, love, love. Let me show you guys how it looks. Uh, forms. So normally we go to entries and I'm just going to go to entries right here. And yeah, you can see all the entries. Now these are all the dummy ones that I've put, okay? If I go to view visual report, this is really cool. You see how it intelligently decides like what information to show you here? Let me show you what the front end, you see the front end? So over here, it kind of breaks down uh, what people have filled out and then shows you how many were submitted over you know, the last 30 days. I think that's so incredibly useful. On basic features alone, it's a winner for me. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now let's talk about the advanced features that I really like. Some of them I use for myself. Some of them I don't need them, but I know clients that could totally use them. And WP Fluent Forms does a fantastic job. So uh, first off, email list integration. So over here, I'm gonna go to modules and then I can you know, just enable whichever ones I wanna integrate. So like MailChimp, so anybody who fills out the form, they'll automatically be added to my MailChimp list, email list, okay? Uh, the next thing, Slack integration. So I use this, okay? So let's say for example, um, I'm putting it here, on, this is my Johnny VPS site. Let's say we fill something out, and I'm just gonna call this a YouTube video, and it's gonna be support, okay? 
and somebody could help my server is down <laughs> please help me okay and they submit a form we can we can set this up so it goes directly to my slack to our slack channel so i'm going to go there right now and boom you see right now 11:40, and it just came in it went straight to my migration channel now maybe you might have like different uh different channel te themes oh sorry don't look at this guys actually that's already a canceled account anyway you guys can't even go in there even if you want it okay so over here it'll send it right to the slack channel of your choice so you can choose so maybe you have certain forms that will go to like your support department the other form will go to like your sales department i think it's incredible it's a lifesaver total like like workflow improver i love it google sheets integration so this is great if for example you use your forms your forms to take like event registration or maybe like you just want a list of form submissions and you want to run a checklist or maybe you want to import the info information elsewhere google sheets integration really easy right and where is it where is it okay there you go boom so you just enable that and then the option is there cpt creation for example um maybe you want somebody to fill out the form and then it is uh, automatically posted as a testimonial or a product review maybe it goes on a job board or some kind of user directory listing so I think that's really cool. And then number 10, of course, it can accept payments and subscriptions. So for example, you can, this, you can do uh, accept payments on, through your forms for clients, customers, or donations, okay? And if you want a real like, pay, like simple payment e-commerce usage, I recommend WP Pay Form Pro, which is made by the same guys who did the uh, Fluent Forms. I think it was WP Manage Ninjas. That's, that's the... Yeah, WP Managed Ninja, that's their development firm name. Okay, any other things I like? You can do the file and image upload, Zapier integration, you can do multi-column layouts. As you can see, it's really easy for me to set up multi-columns and you don't have to do any math and type in number of pixels and what whatnot. SMS integration, so you can send stuff to your mobile. There's great documentation. Um, for example, the Slack integration, which normally, anytime I set up a plugin with Slack, with Slack, it takes like an hour to set up. I have to click on this and copy paste webhook back and forth. With WP Fluent Forms, I swear it took me like two minutes and only two minutes because I had to read. If it wasn't for having to read the documentation, I would have been done in five clicks and 20 seconds. It was that easy. Okay, for those of you wondering, WP Fluent Forms is super fast, super lightweight code. It was actually the reason why I first tried it. I wanted something even more lightweight than Caldera because Caldera is super lightweight, but it still loads like Bootstrap 3 and whatnot. The email notification customization, as I showed you, you can customize the email notification that gets sent out to you. You can also have those sent to the, the form user as well, the, the user that submitted. And then import export forms. Oh yeah, you're gonna want this, especially if you have really fancy forms and you wanna copy it across your sites. Okay, the conversion rate. This is actually pretty cool because you can kind of use this as like an email lead generation. So if you go to your forms right here, um, it'll kind of show you a conversion rate. This is kind of funny. I never thought of that. I never thought to use it, but now that I have it, I appreciate it. Shows you how many views and then the percentage of people who convert. I think that's pretty funny and useful actually not not just funny okay other than that oh uh, areas to improve I wish I could style the email notification a little easier they do have a developer filter you can put it in your functions.php file but it would be nicer if it was a, a more less technical way to do it for the people who don't know how to code other than that I'm a huge fan of WP Fluent Forms I think the pricing is fantastic it was really easy to use and get going I have been using them for my critical sites and my client sites for two years now so I know it's a it's a super solid plugin and as you guys know if I review anything if I say it's good that means it's good I've done my homework I really like it really easy to use um, I love that WP Fluent Forms has all the power and all the features of the big name plugins but doesn't feel like it's overkill, right? Because some of these other plugins like Gravity, all these other pro form plugins, it feels like if you don't need their pro features, they're, they're overkill, there's just too much. Okay, and then here's a chart. Of course, WP Fluent Form makes it look like they're good at everything and, and better than the competitor in every way. I don't know that this is totally true. Maybe the competitor 
has can do stuff that fluent forms can't but either way um, fluent forms pricing is very attractive and where is it let me okay two hundred dollars a year you got unlimited everything uh, for these guys was it I think it's like 260 all, all of them are about 260 for everything for the for the year okay um, exactly yeah they're, they're all in that same range anyway WP Fluent Forms is my favorite if you guys have another favorite you can let me know Caldera is no longer my favorite because it gets so much spam also Caldera I think their UI is a little bit outdated it feels a little old even though it's actually one of the newer ones it feels older I wish their styling was cleaner but and nonetheless, still a solid plugin. WP Forms is solid. It's made by Saeed Balki, who owns Optin Monster. Owns like a, a, he's acquired so many popular WordPress plugins out there. And of course, his costs a little more than everyone else. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll do a full feature write-up on my site. Actually, you guys have already seen it. And I will publish it soon. Thanks again for watching.